tell us too about so for you when you what would be like a daily routine for you which i know could be so different for everybody else and you've alluded to a lot of practices you do but how do you intuit the whole day mm. or how do you really listen to what your body's asking for your subtle body's yeah. asking for so when i wake up in the morning i'm usually very sensitive throughout the night time like i've always been a really sensitive person so when I wake up, I really need to be alone. Mm -hmm. I need to have time for myself. And this is so important in how I've structured my day, actually. Like, I don't even see clients until, like, 11, Same. 12. Yeah. Because for me, that morning, when I wake up, like, something happens to where that energy from the night carries. And there's, like, medicine that I, that's, like, kind of coming from the night into the day. Mm -hmm. So the morning time for me is like a really sensitive time. Same. I usually wake up um, and I mean, I'm in summer now. So my schedule kind of is really influenced by nature because it's so warm. So mm -hmm. I will go outside right away and be in nature with as little clothing as possible. No sunscreen, no sunglasses mm -hmm. and really just be in the sun. And sometimes I'll meditate while I'm in the sun because mm -hmm. it's just, you know kill two birds with one i know step. like yeah. multitasking yeah, right? yeah but it's like i mean naturally when you're in the sun you kind of want to meditate it's and it's so wild because like how you link um infrared to morning light yes. you know how it's essentially the same lighting yeah. the moment when i'm in the sun uh all of a sudden it's like i go straight into parasympathetic i want to take a nap Amazing. it's so because soothing. your body is regenerating literally is what's so happening. it's if, taking you to that crazy deep like kind of w that acupuncture yes, space to yes. regenerate so go with that if yeah you're feeling sleepy just go with it go to sleep yeah. you know <laughs> yeah. yes and continue sorry so yeah so i'll be in the sun and usually at the same time i'll pour a big glass of water so with me i'll take outside like a glass of water i drink tons of water throughout mm -hmm. the day um and then after that i've been doing the cold therapy every morning amazing so i i have this beautiful bath outside amazing. which is a new thing for me and so i'll be in the sun and i will be in the cold water but even even if i'm not outside just taking a cold shower yeah and allowing that um like temperature difference to happen and then from there we'll you know have something to eat and kind of Usually that's the time where for me, I'm like highly sort of active. Mm. I feel very active in the morning time. Mm -hmm. Me too. Like a little too vata. Yeah, probably yeah. a little. For me, for me. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm kind of like, okay, so that's when I'll kind of get work done, yeah. you know, emails or um, doing things at home. Um, and then from there, kind of going into my space and offering my sessions and I'll be there throughout the day and... Also, which was so important to me around my healing stu studio was having it close to the ocean. Yeah. So that I could use that and I'd have that support. Mm -hmm. And so that's huge for me throughout the day to have that. Also, my space has like, it's the only property on Main Street that has a yard in the front. Wow, this is unreal. You really manifested yeah. this space. On Main Street, it's wow. the only property with grass. So I also have that. So I'll be like outside and just kind of receiving the sun. And, wow. and I always tell, I kind of always say that I truly could not be doing the work that I'm doing if I didn't live in nature. Yeah. And this is just for me specifically. Yeah. There's no way I could be living in New York City and offering what I offer during sessions. Yeah. It would. It's just not possible. Totally. I have to be in nature to regenerate. I know that about myself. I've learned that, mm -hmm. and I and I have to honor that. I so everything that. I do revolves around that. So nature is what dictates your life. Yeah. And that is, is down to what I eat, you know, what's in my environment. You know, I'm I've really stopped eating like all things mm -hmm. that are coming from other places. Yeah. Which is so sad, you know. It is. But also here on the East Coast is so nice when you have farms around because yeah. it's lovely. A stone fruit. I mean all the stuff. Oh that's my gosh, the peaches and the plums and oh, it's incredible. And so many wonderful vegetables. And yeah. But I think that is such a key, key, key tip for people who are healing. Yeah. Like, and stop following the diets and the things. All the diet. You will Listen go to your crazy. body and yeah. eat what's local in season. Eat what's like. local. And again, it goes back to the light. If you're eating something that grows in a different environment, 
it's going to create a light mismatch in your body. Your mm-hmm. body is going to say like, what is this? Totally. And it's going to create more um, imbalance and disease. Totally. You know?